training's been really good. Couldn't ask for a better camp. Um, it seems like it's been going on for a year. Uh, took three weeks off this year. Unfortunately, didn't get to fight in May, but I, I took three weeks off and got right back at it. So uh, I'm ready to go. It's been a long, long, rough year, and uh, I'm just ready to get after it. The time between now and the last time I fought, last November 20th, I believe, uh, you're going to see a completely different fighter. Although I didn't get to show a lot in that fight, it was so quick. Um, I'm ready to, to have a good fight against a tough opponent. Does that affect you? I like being the underdog. Uh, I expected it. I planned on it. I want to be the underdog. It takes all the pressure off of me. Nobody knows what I can do. Nobody's seen uh, any of my skills, really. My fights have been kind of weird, either short or, you know, fighting for three five-minute rounds with the broken jaw. So I'm excited to get in there and get after it, have a war, and I've got the perfect opponent to do that. Nope, ready to challenge my stand-up against hers and anybody else's right now at this point. I feel like MMA is just taken off. I mean, Gina, Gina and Cyborg have done a good job really paving the way for us, and it's up to the rest of us to continue to put on a good show and keep the fans happy and, you know, get after it. The girls are getting more and more technical with every fight that we see, so it's very exciting. All right, thank you.